Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw Squeak from Brawl Stars. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw the shape of his head at the top left corner with curve line diagonally down to the left right there. Turn it downwards at the side of his head and from the ending point on the right curve line diagonally upwards same is turn to the right and turn it downwards on the right side curve line downwards and diagonally to the left repeat that same shape again on the right corner right there and at the ending point below Diagonal curve line downwards to the right. Turn it downwards and flare slightly out. Now below his head in the middle point, I'm going to draw a circular shape at that corner. Now inside of that, I'm going to draw another circular shape along the edge. Inside of that circle, I'm going to draw a V-shape at that corner. Turn it diagonally down and out on both sides. Turn it diagonally inwards and down below that. And mirror the whole thing downwards at the lower point. Above that whole thing on the top right corner, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line up to the side of his head and another similar curve line below that. A line downwards at the ending point on the right. Inside of that strap, I'm going to draw a teardrop shape on the left corner, right there. And inside of that, I'm going to draw two lines downwards at this lower point. On the right side of that teardrop shape, I'm going to draw an oval shape on the right corner right there and inside of that I'm going to draw another semi-circle line on the left corner like that and on the right side of that two short lines downwards at the upper point curve line across below that along the side of the strap I'm going to draw a curve line across at this upper corner and another one at the lower corner right there and I'm going to mirror the same shape of the strap on the left side. Inside of the left strap, I'm going to draw on the right corner a U curve line at that point. Turn it downwards on both sides with curve line. Turn it diagonally inwards to the middle point for the lower part. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw a U curve line in the middle point, arch curve line at the side, and turn it downwards, curve line across for the lower part. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw a line downwards in the middle point, and a line downwards on both the left and right side. Above that whole thing, I'm going to draw two short lines downwards at that corner. On the left side of the strap, I'm going to draw a short line across at that corner, Turn it diagonally up on the left side, same as turn downwards, turn it inwards to the right, and mirror the whole thing on the lower point right here, and I'm going to mirror the whole thing on the right side. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw two short lines downwards in the middle point, and curve line across below that. Extend the line of his head downwards on the left corner to the strap. Now for the lower strap on the left, I'm going to mirror the same curve line at that corner and another similar curve line below that. A line downwards at the ending point on the left. Inside of that strap, I'm going to draw a similar curve line at the side, at this upper corner and at this lower point. Mirror the same shape of the strap on the right side. 
and at the lower right corner of that strap I'm gonna draw a circular shape Now for his left eye, I'm going to draw at the outer corner a diagonal curve line across and to the right so that means I can turn downwards at the inner corner of his eye with a curve line turn it diagonally down to the left at the lower point so that means I can turn upwards at the outer corner of his eye Inside of his eye on the right corner, I'm going to draw an oval shape right there and I'm going to mirror the whole eye shape on the right side of his face Now below his eye, I'm going to draw his mouth from the left corner Curve line diagonally across to the right and downwards Turn it diagonally up to the middle point An arch curve line in the middle of his mouth And I'm going to mirror the whole mouth shape on the right side of his face Below the mouth, I'm going to draw his tongue off center to the left, curve line downwards, U curve line to the right, across to the right, and curve line back upwards on the right side. In the middle of his tongue, below the mouth, I'm going to draw a short line downwards at that corner. Now, for his head on the top left corner, I'm going to draw a diagonal line upwards from the left side of his head right there. Curve line across and diagonally up to the right. I'm gonna leave a gap on the right corner right there and mirror that same set of line on the right corner. At that gap, I'm gonna draw at the upper point, curve line across to the right, turn it downwards on both sides and slightly inwards turn it diagonally in to the middle point on both the left and right inside of that shape I'm gonna trace the same outline along the edge and I'm gonna leave the gap on the lower corner on both the left and right and at the lower corner I'm gonna draw arch curve line like that below his strap on the left I'm going to draw his hand with curve line diagonally out to the left turn it downwards to his fingers same is the turn downwards and turn it to the right on the right side of that slightly above I'm going to draw a curve line downwards same is the turn to the right Turn it upwards. Same is gonna turn to the right. Sharp turn downwards. Same is gonna turn to the right and turn it up. Curve line diagonally up to the right and to the side of his body. And at that ending point, I'm gonna do a curve line diagonally up to the left. Maybe the same shape of his arms on the right side. Now below the lower strap on the left, I'm going to draw his legs with curve line diagonally down to the right. Turn it inwards, curve line downwards, curve line across to the right and turn it upwards in the middle of his legs right there. And above that, I'm going to draw a curve line across right there and mirror the same shape of his leg on the right side and 
finally, I'm gonna draw a thick line along the outer edges. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time!